Listen, listen. We got a new spot. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it it wasn't nothing but me for me to just move. You know what I'm saying? I can what I told her boy, I can go anywhere. We ain't got shit it shouldn't be no more distractions. Came to another spot, it don't got no no parking. You know, no parking six to four or whatever they be saying. You ain't got none of that. Still a, it's still an end of the road. You know what I'm saying? Get straight into it. <laughs> Yo. Grew up doctors saying you're underweight, you're overweight. You're just at at the average weight too tall too short average height dentist need to fix teeth need teeth fix braces like we haven't even grown into our bodies at all yet and we're being constantly put down about our appearance like people now compare their bodies to people who are firstly not them and they've grown into their body for the most part like just don't compare bro y'all are different we're different than we're different than a majority the doctors are taken from People got different genes, different environment, don't eat the same, different bodies. Like, I mean, yeah, it's like I go to the doctor, nigga, like, oh, you underweight. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but you're, you know, you're um, above the average height or something like that. And fucking, I went to the dentist, you know what I'm saying? My fucking bottom teeth, you know what I'm saying? They all type of crooked or this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? I had got a gap. And it's like, oh, you know, they kept saying braces, this, this, and that, and like, oh, um, cavities, or you know what I'm saying? Like, shit that would seem important because they make it seem important, but listen, nigga, I ain't went to the dentist in maybe two or three years, maybe, or some shit like that. Two years, or some shit, and it's like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? I may have cavities, I may not, this, this, and that, but my shit is not rotting. You know what I'm saying? It, they just went more off of just appearance healthy. Not, is your teeth actually healthy? You know, not um, what can make me money. You know what I'm saying? Or they were doing what, what can make me money. Not, is my patient taken care of? Are their teeth healthy? Am I telling them the actual shit that they need to, you know, get their teeth to the right spot? That things that I see within my knowledge, within my own profession, that they may be going down, you know, a wrong path or something like that. Like it's it's not focused on the work itself. It's not focused on the practice itself. It's more focused on, you know, the money. It's more focused on this, this and that. And, you know, that's what I've been talking about as far as like, you know, therapists or this like, this shit that we need or, you know, that may be good for us or this, this and that, you know, those people that we go to that should know or have the profession in it their decisions are based off of money you know and that's the problem within you know systems and shit like that and like you have people within those systems that try to fight it and just try to take care of the pace and just try to you know do what they think is right this is that but they get fucking punished they get demoted they get fired you know what i'm saying and it's like you got to you either conform into the shit or you know they get you up out the way and it's like it's fuck you know what i'm saying like i said before we be even grown into our bodies or this isn't that you know girls are comparing you know their breasts you know they're comparing you know oh you know this person weighs this and i weigh this why is that this why am i overweight you know what i'm saying why you know what i'm saying like think of how fuck that is a doctor telling you you overweight you know what i'm saying uh, are you know do you feel healthy are you comfortable you know what i'm saying i'm taking the right exams and shit because i'm a doctor and i know you know which things to look at and isn't to see if they're healthy you know what i'm saying i'm telling them you are healthy you know you are comfortable I, we shouldn't be going off of this gauge of majority of people i don't give a fuck if 200 other people are fucking five, six at age of 12 or something like that, I don't give a fuck. What does that have to do with me? I'm not them and they're not me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's shit like that. Like once again, how they're 
we're convinced in a certain way to think, oh, we're the same or some shit like that. But we're not. We're all different. What was I just at? Y'all get on Accutane and go through all that shit. All that suffering just to get clear skin. And it's like, it'll be different. Okay, I mean, listen, obviously there's within what it is, there's some type of data or some shit as far as health or something like that. But I just feel it's more of an appearance thing. Because I don't feel or know too much knowledge on whether acne is unhealthy, you know, to a certain extent of what acne you have or what condition or, you know what I'm saying, what type of skin you have that's on your fucking face. You know what I'm saying? All this disease bullshit and all this fucking demoralizing shit. I don't know about that. But what type of skin you have on your face, I don't know what's to determine of healthy or not but i don't think you just having those you know bumps or whatever are that's on your face i don't think that's a sign of unhealthy you know what i'm saying i think it's just more of an appearance thing more of a comparing thing more of you just want to have clear skin because others have clear skin you know and the doctors promoting it because they know y'all just want to have clear skin they know y'all don't want you know those bumps or this this and that but I don't know it'll be different you know depending depending on like i said what type of skin you have or you know a severeness of it or this this and that and what steps need to be taken as far as you know you feeling comfortable you know what i'm saying and you you know feeling healthy and is it you know like irritating or is it you know what i'm saying like shit like that you know what i'm saying that we can figure out but as far as an appearance thing you know i just i just I just feel that's what it is with some people. They just like, I want to get rid of this shit on my face because I don't like the way it looks or this, this, and that. But if we all had that shit on our face and that was all our skin, then we we, we, we wouldn't see so much of a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? We, we would find something else that, you know, we want to fucking, you know, whatever we create or whatever. But we wouldn't see so much of a problem with it. And that's what I'm trying to say as far as just shit that you know we're creating and comparing that it's not so much of a problem because if we all or most of us had it it wouldn't be a problem you know what i'm saying so it's more of just your mental and more of just what we're creating upon each other i'm so strong that i'm scared to trust people i'm so strong that i hate myself i'm so strong that i cry myself to sleep i'm so strong that i want to kill myself Fuck saying what you went through made you stronger. That shit is not accurate, my nigga. That shit is not accurate and it's not true to you at all. You know what I'm saying? Just as far as, you know, what I'm talking about right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that message of, you know, what I went through made me stronger. No, what you went through gave you certain opportunities and you took some, you didn't take some. And what you did from it is what you did from it. Or with those opportunities, what you did with it. Like, all that other shit is dead, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stop convincing people that you became strong from getting beat, from getting abused, from getting touched in a certain way, from fucking getting talked down on, from, you know what I'm saying? Stop saying that. You know what I'm saying? Because some people think, oh, those things are happening to me, but I'm not getting strong. So, you know, what's wrong with me? Why am I weak? This, 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 this and that. And it's like, you know, talk about situational shit. Talk about what you went through. Talk about the opportunity that showed up and that you took. And, and talk about what you did with that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Don't just go and sit here and say, oh, that made me strong. I'm strong because of this. Like, that's not, that's not true to you. And you convincing yourself that that's true to you is fucking you up without you even knowing. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe fucking you up and you know, but you just think oh i gotta keep convincing myself that you know what i'm saying i'm strong because you know what i'm saying it's like and it's that strong thing oh uh, strong weak like it's who gives a fuck whether you 
feel you know that made you strong in a sense or weak in a sense you know what i'm saying what did it make you feel you know what i'm saying what did you take from it what did you do with it you know what i'm saying actually like specific on shit because strong is so bold weak is so bold so uh broad you know what i'm saying and it's not just and there's nothing wrong with you being weak you know what i'm saying there's nothing wrong with you being weak in the area there's nothing wrong with you being weak in the area. You know what I'm saying? That fucking you got touched in a certain way. Now you, you're you scared to, you know what I'm saying? Get in a certain relationship. You're scared to be touched. You know what I'm saying? And that would be seen as weak or in a sense. You know what I'm saying? But it's a valid fear and you have to work, you know, evaluate work, change and grow in order to get to a place where you slowly, you know, get comfortable where you met a person who allows you you know, to feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? And is pacing with you and just shit like that, bro. But it's like, oh, I'm so strong that I fucking cry myself to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just, I don't know. Stop setting timelines. Stop, stop setting timelines, bro. Like I said fucking yesterday, we don't know. We don't know. Some shit could fall on me right now. It's over. I didn't set some bullshit timelines for next year. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like I said, it's okay to want things. But shit, this is just a reiteration. Stop setting timelines, my nigga. Something to celebrate is smiling more, laughing more, understanding why you why you feel sad when you when you're feeling sad. Be okay with crying. Those things are those those are things to celebrate doing what you want will always be great big you know what i'm saying to a certain extent and you know just finding those things to celebrate is huge you know what i'm saying communicating with yourself understanding shit you know what i'm saying being okay with you doing this this and that you know what i'm saying that you've been told that you shouldn't do or some shit like that Nobody has self-hatred or hatred towards someone else when born. Not many are able to think differently or go against what parents are saying or someone else. You just adapt to it. And, and, and it becomes part of what you do. And you believe it's true to you because majority feels that way around you. You're being told to hate a certain shade of the color that we all are. Before you can even think about it. You're being told that. You're seeing that. The people around you are like that. You're hearing it constantly. You're being shown that by example constantly. And it's like. Even some get to a point where they're like. They start thinking differently about it. Then you know they get punished. And then they're like okay I just got to stay in this. You know what I'm saying. And then they just fucking conform to it. You know what I'm saying. But before you even get a chance at anything. You're already thrown into something. You know, and like I said, it becomes a part of what you are. And it's like, you know, you being told, oh, you're ugly. You're this, you're that, you're, you know what I'm saying? And then you just fucking, it's like, it's a practice and it's, it's in your head. You're practicing it. And you know, you're now telling yourself that, and it's a practice and it's your lifestyle. And it's now what you're, what you, what, what's now a part of you in a way. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no self-hatred. You didn't come out the womb like, damn, I'm ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is it's tough. And it's, we, we got to get there. We got to want to get there. We got to want, we got to want to work. You know what I'm saying? We, some of you will say things in your mind that may seem as negative. But if you say, like, I'm ugly, then you catch it right there and you say, no, stop, I'm beautiful. Then you're like, well, I don't feel like it. Then you look in the mirror and you see what you don't like for the most part or makes you feel ugly. Then what you then what can then what you can change and for the things you can't change, learn how to accept them. Some of y'all only feel this way because you compare your looks to others. See what you don't like for the most part. Then ask why you don't like it for the most part. Whoa, shit. I ain't gonna lie. That whole surprise the fuck out of me. You gotta. I'm sorry, big fella. You gotta get the fuck out. 
Listen, should I leave my guy? I I I think the the uh I think that's a waltz. I think yeah, they they only fuck with you if you fucking with them. So if I just let my nigga do what he gotta do, I think it's all chill. That I wonder how long this motherfucker was hovering over a nigga. I didn't hear no zzz. That that's a beat up. I don't know. I, I think I think some mosquitoes make different sounds or some shit like that. Listen, listen, I got stung by a wasp when I was I don't know. I got stung right here. I'm I'm outside backyard trying to go crazy doing something I don't know, and really it it may have, it may have been my fault. It may have been my fault. See everybody else ran in the house. I'm out I'm outside like these. I'm trying to fight the walls. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to fight the walls. I'm trying to go crazy. And then this nigga said I didn't had a stung my ass. That's, you know what I'm saying? I, I think I I I, 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 um, I took that opportunity and I um learned my lesson you know what i'm saying and i use that right here and understood that if i don't fuck with them they're not gonna fuck with me to a certain extent you know what i'm saying where was i at nigga i looked up i was like god damn <laughs> surprised in a motherfucker not scared you know that's one of the things people you know when they think you not scared you surprised fear is like We'll get into all that. Where was I at? Damn, I was just... Shit, pick up where we left off. It's okay. Or makes you feel ugly. Then what you can change, and for the things you can't change, learn to learn to ex accept them. Some of y'all only feel this way because you compare your looks to others. See what you don't like, then ask... See what you don't like for the most part, then ask why you don't like it for the most part. If it's because of others, you... If it is because of others you comparing, then that's not good. And your judgment is now blurred because your reasoning is not good. Because of the things you don't like for the most part are just coming from others' view. What do you think? All starts with you, you know what I'm saying? A million people can say you're pretty and you feel ugly, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, what do you feel? You know what I'm saying? That's all on you. I think body surgery do make your life easier. I think body surgery make your life easier is okay depending. I don't know. I think I'm saying like, I think body surgery is okay and makes your life easier depending. You know, like if you feel your breast is too big, get reduction because you don't want to be uncomfortable and that's purely on you but if you want to change anything because of comparison and what others say i don't suggest that i mean some things you're going to have to accept and if you feel it's for you and if you feel it's for you and and, and if you feel it's for you gotta go and love yourself because you wouldn't want to do that to your beautiful body and if you feel it's for you, you got to go and love yourself because you wouldn't want to do that to your beautiful body. Yeah, I mean, you know, that body surgery shit is, you know, to a certain extent, you know, a topic, you know, needs to be discussed and dissected in a certain way. But I just feel like, you know, if you got fucking just, you know, these breasts that, you know, are weighing you down to a certain extent. And as far as just like, you know, genetics type shit, like your shit has, has just grown to a certain extent. And it's not like you're, you know, you feel like you're overweight or you feel real big or something like that. It's that just, you know, your breasts are just big, you know what I'm saying? And it may, it may run in the family or some shit like that. And it's just like, you're tired of carrying it around. You're tired of, you know, having having to wear you know certain loose shirts you know you can't wear a certain shirt because it feels too tight or you know what i'm saying just shit like that and you want to feel relieved in a sense you know what i'm saying i don't know what consists of the surgery or how that happens but it's like i don't know if they truly feel uncomfortable you know i don't know it's so situational and i don't know how others truly feel but i don't think that is a comparing thing i think that is a truly i feel like my breasts are too fucking big they are so fucking heavy 
I'm tired of carrying them around. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I want to just fucking, I want to, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's different. You know what I'm saying? Because usually it's, people want to get bigger breasts or something like that. You know what I'm saying? People want to get bigger something or bigger, bigger, bigger. And it's like when now you want to go smaller, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know, it's a different view on it. But it's like, I just feel as far as like wanting bigger breasts or bigger butt or, you know, something like that. That's more of a comparing thing. That's more of a, you know, you got to go love yourself and understand that you're beautiful the way you are. You know, understand that you got to accept you. You know what I'm saying? Understand that you're just trying to do that to get so-and-so attention or this, this, and that. Some motherfuckers don't have standards. And some that do take it into an unreal level. You know, and that shit needs to be talked about. You know, that shit needs to be evaluated within oneself. You know what I'm saying? And standards on anything and on everything, bro. Like, for yourself, within relationships, you know, within, you know, what you're doing. It's like, you gotta have standards on shit, bro. And you gotta... You know, you got to figure out what those standards are and you got to be able to change those standards. And, you know what I'm saying, understand that that standard is a is a foundation in a sense and understand that that situation, you know, you may have to alter the standard in a certain way, you know what I'm saying, to better fit the situation better and better for you to understand and how to put that situation into your standards and knowing how to not have those unreal standards in a way you know what i'm saying because some people have certain unreal standards and that shit goes to a whole nother extent that it doesn't need to go to you know what i'm saying because some people set like a crazy goal that needs to be to a certain extent that it don't even need to be at and it's like i don't know you know what i'm saying it's like or, you know, they get in certain relationships with certain people and they set it to a fucking, oh, they got to do this, 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 and that. And it's like, if they don't, we're fucking done. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's like, you got to reason your shit and you got to figure that shit out and do it in a way that you feel works. And it's like, damn, you say that, but for the people who send them Unreal Center, they feel it works. You know what I'm saying? So I, I guess it comes down to, you know, that other person communicating that that shit was unreal. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, you being able to evaluate some of those situations and like, damn, maybe it's an unreal standard. Damn, maybe everybody keeps saying, you know, that's unreal or something like that. Maybe I should change it or break it down. I don't know. And that's when it becomes to the communication. And that's when, when it becomes to the you allowing, you know, your standard to be, you know, judged in a certain way. You allowing others to you know give you feedback on it and you allowing yourself to change and be open about it i don't know when i say be kind don't mean let motherfuckers disrespect you some motherfuckers think i'm mean because i stand up for myself when a motherfucker disrespects me like y'all gotta learn that you can speak in a demanding demeanor and still be kind and respectful don't have to yell or anything nobody should allow themselves to be disrespected you know what i'm saying i didn't talk about that you know, and some motherfuckers do think I'm mean or this and that because, you know, because when motherfuckers tell me, you know, this, this and that, I be like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Because they have a certain title, you know what I'm saying? Or a certain stature of some shit. And I be like, I'm not finna do that. You know what I'm saying? No. You know what I'm saying? And that becomes, a, oh, a disrespect because they have a certain title or this, this and that. But like, motherfucker, listen. That's cool that other niggas didn't gave you that title. That's cool that you didn't obtain a certain title. They said the phone was too hot. Back to that shit. But that's cool that you didn't obtain a certain title. But I do not know you, my nigga. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I do not know you. So all that title shit, all that shit you did, you know what I'm saying? This, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Depending on, you know, how you act as a person and how you speak or this, this, and that to me. And depending on our interaction, you know what I'm saying? Then... We see what happens with the mutual respect. Then we see what happened with this, this, and that. But just because you have a previous, you know, certain encounter with others and, you know what I'm saying, just because you have this title of a sense doesn't mean I just give you respect. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean I allow you to disrespect me. 
You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the big thing about it. You know what I'm saying? They feel that they can just disrespect others because of a certain title, because of a certain name they have, because of a certain stature, because of, you know what I'm saying, who society says they are, because of, you know, society says they're an adult or this, 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 and that. Because they think you they're above you. You know what I'm saying? And that's the foundation they're using. You know what I'm saying? And they think they can just... And we're supposed to shut up. We're supposed to not say anything. We're supposed to let you fucking spit on us and just sit there. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? You out your fucking mind if you think you finna disrespect me and I'm just finna allow it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's shitty because to a certain extent, a certain situation we're in, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, maybe our job is on the line or maybe, you know what I'm saying? What we're living at is on the line. Or maybe, you know what I'm saying, our relationship is on the line. You know what I'm saying? Or this, this, and that. And it's like, it's fuck that they, you know, had that mindset and are abusing you in that way and manip manipulating you in that way that, oh, if they not, aren't able to disrespect you, you know, then they're going to leave. Then you're fired. Then you got to get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like, I don't know, bro. But I, you know, you shouldn't be seen as a mean person for standing up for yourself. Now, is there a way to stand up for yourself? Of course. But you shouldn't be just labeled automatically as that mean person for going against something, for standing up for yourself, for standing up for others. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're using a certain tone. You know what I'm saying? Just because this, this, and that. And even, you know, I said the don't yell. You know what I'm saying? Yelling, I mean, yelling has different things to it, but it's like, I guess just like yelling as far as, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to yell at them niggas. It's basically, you know, is what I'm saying. Look like a vulture, nigga. I'm not dead, vulture. You know, them niggas circle on your ass. They come in swoop on my shit. I ain't going for those. <laughs> but it's like, what the fuck was I saying? That's tough. Yeah, 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 but it's like yelling to a certain extent or I don't know. I forgot what the fuck I was saying. We're just going to move on. We love moments of things, but regardless of what it is, we never want it to be permanent. Even with ourselves, we go to sleep to get a break from ourselves. We say we like being by ourselves just means some moments. We say we like feeling happy just means some moments. You know, and it's huge to, you know, understand that and to... And to really see that, you know what I'm saying? Within you being in a certain moment, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's going to be moments you're not fucking with you. You know, there's going to be moments where you feel in a certain way, you know what I'm saying? But there are just going to be moments. You know what I'm saying? We, and we have to understand that shit. I don't know who told y'all, y'all not the thoughts in y'all heads. Yes, you are. Once again, I don't know why that shit is reiterated. I don't know why, you know, that shit is pushed. Like, you are. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, and I, I didn't talk about it. It's, you are the thoughts in your head, bro. Regardless of what they are, you are those thoughts. I just can't bring a human in this world First, without their permission and knowing how they'll suffer because of the way the world is. Yeah, I mean, nigga, I'm not having no kid. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, that shit flew close as fuck. And it's like, you know, I don't know how people are constantly bringing fucking humans into this world. You know what I'm saying? Like, the permission shit is obviously, you know what I'm saying? That's like... I don't know if there's a way to do that. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the... Because the way the world is, you know what I'm saying? That's that's so valid. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, how can you bring a human and say, you know, go to school. Go fucking get a job. You know what I'm saying? Go slave to get money so you could have this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying, go deal with this mental shit on your own, you know, it's like, go deal with this, 
this hate that people give you regardless of the shade of your skin you know regardless of you know what person you like regardless of what you look you know what i'm saying go go deal with all this shit you know what i'm saying and it's like regardless if you're there you know as much as you try to be it's like the shit would never the way the, what we're in right now it'll never be okay to bring a human into this world within what we're in right now it just you can't do it because you you aren't going to be there 24 7 you know what i'm saying obviously yes you know do your best you know have them financially stable you know what i'm saying make sure they don't have to you know slave a day in their life you know what i'm saying make sure they just you know what i'm saying do what they want and you know go after what they want or this is that you know make them feel comfortable you know what i'm saying and 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 strive to you know help them be at peace strive to you know listen and communicate and you know what i'm saying care and support you know what i'm saying as far as people who brought people in this world as far as people who are going to bring people in this world but let's see what needs to be done within what we're in if we are going to bring people in this world now as far as this world we need to be working to change it instead of sitting back in it and allowing it to keep falling into the shit that it's falling into you know what i'm saying we we're acting like it's okay because we're having kids you know what i'm saying we want others to experience this shit and it's like why why would you want somebody else to experience this shit you know i don't that shit i don't know that shit just throws me you know what i'm saying i because i know i wouldn't want anybody to experience what i've experienced nobody you know what i'm saying and, and if you can go and say that just off a possibility that they can experience just a little of what you what you've experienced and you can think that and still have a kid it's like i don't know like on some real like let me sit down and talk about this shit like i don't know like i you know, I haven't heard it talked about, you know what I'm saying, as far as not having kids, because maybe it's like a, you know, how you going to tell me what to do with my body type shit or something like that. But it's like, you know, it's not so much me telling you what to do with your body to a certain extent. It's more of a, how are you able to do that with your body, knowing what we're living in, knowing the, the possibilities that you know, that they'll go through, you know what I'm saying? Or this, this, and that. It's more of a that thing than just a, listen, my nigga, that should be, that should be getting me, my nigga. Maybe I'm traumatized. Maybe I haven't healed from my, um, from my sting, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's another thing, bro. Like, I feel like we, you know what I'm saying? Within a sense, fearful of animals because we aren't, interacting with them you know what i'm saying we don't have that you know mutual anything with them you know it's more of a kind of a mutual fear i guess in a sense because they're kind of scared of us in a sense and we're kind of scared of them in a sense you know what i'm saying because we aren't together and we aren't living together and you know what i'm saying like i shouldn't you know this wasp's not gonna do shit to me you know what i'm saying and i shouldn't be surprised you know what i'm saying i shouldn't have fear building up you know what I'm saying? Looking around, seeing if they finna fly in or this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Because I should, I should know how, you know what I'm saying, they work. You know what I'm saying? They should know that I'm not trying to kill them or this, this, and that. Like, it should be an understanding. You know what I'm saying? We should be living amongst each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, we shouldn't, like, some people shouldn't be scared of certain animals. You know what I'm saying? Like, scared that oh they'll attack scared that they'll hurt us you know what i'm saying because it's like we live amongst humans and they can do the same attack us they can do the same hurt us thing and it's like but we we deal with it in a sense you know what i'm saying we have certain understandings you know between certain people not to hurt each other not to you know what i'm saying we need to get there with living 
with animals. You know what I'm saying? Like living with, we're all one, bro. And we shouldn't be fucking tearing us apart one by one, going extinct one by one. And that shit so like, that shit make you feel sad. You know what I'm saying? To just think about that shit. Like they dying off and you know what I'm saying? We steadily trying to build all this different shit and disconnect from nature, disconnect from animals and, you know, disconnect from our home, trying to create a new home within our home, which is fucked. Medication is either distracting you from what you're taking it for or you taking it tells yourself this will now stop you. This one now stops so your body comes down and your mind gets the signal or whatever. Then the, then the thing stops. All about the mind. The medication isn't honestly doing anything. The only reason once you're off the meds, it comes back or whatever is because you no longer have that thing to make yourself calm. You're just left by yourself to control yourself. You know, and that's definitely to a certain extent because obviously... You know, some medication as far as, you know, the anesthesia or whatever, you know, send certain chemicals and you get a little fucking, you know what I'm saying, loopy or whatever it is. But it's like, you know, some of that medication that they are giving y'all, like, you know, to calm anxiety or this, this, this and that. Like, yes, it may be doing some chemical shit, but it's like, it's more of you sending that signal to your mind that, you know, you're now calm. And it's like. I don't know. It's just we're giving the power to the medication because we think we can't control ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We think we can't figure out a way to be calm in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, that's that's within itself. And it's like, instead of giving the power to ourselves and putting in that work to control ourselves to a certain extent and figuring out how to do that in certain situations, we're just giving power to the medication and not putting in that work and just like oh this is what it is so whenever we're off the meds it's like yeah thanks for reiteration shit but it's huge and it's like it's shit that needs to be talked about and shit that needs to be understood and you know we need to be moving away from you know taking medication you know what i'm saying for certain shit and y'all laughed at Jaden and willow now y'all copy and praise bash them you know what i'm saying as far as same shade type shit, type shit. Bash them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they're weird. They're this, 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 and that. Like, what the fuck? Uh, we don't claim them. Like, who the fuck is we in the claiming? Like, I, 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 I still don't know why y'all decided to, decided to make that shit up. Like, what the fuck do you mean claiming? Who are you claiming? The fuck are you talking about claim? Ain't nobody claiming me as nothing, nigga. Claiming. We don't claim them. Who are you to claim and who is them to... What? You know what I'm saying? Just the claim itself is like... Such an odd word to use. Like, are we within a community? Are we, you know... Have healthy relationships? Are we respecting each other? You know what I'm saying? Do I agree with some shit you do? Do I disagree with some shit you do? You know what I'm saying? But as far as thinking where, you know, this separate things in a way of shades and we can claim and disown as far as what you do, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're all one and that's it. You know what I'm saying? We can't disown and now you're over here and now you're over there because you're doing this, 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 and that because I feel you're not worthy of being this shade of a color. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That shit is odd, but y'all laugh at Jaden and Willow. Now y'all copy and praise them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that simple and it goes into just do what you want. You know what I'm saying? Just do what you feel. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, obviously we'll work to get to a point where you doing what you want, you know what I'm saying? You will be supported and cared for and not, you know, fucking bashed and fucking laughed at. 
you know what I'm saying? And then later on, you're now, you know, everybody want to fuck with you and do this, this, and that. But it's like, bro, everybody was on Jaden ass for fucking wearing a skirt on some shit and fucking them cutting their hair and just them on some weird shit, just some shit that other people wouldn't do or not used to doing or not used to seeing or hearing. And it's like, it was just straight hate. And, you know, and it's like, I don't know, bro. It's just people so in themselves. And it's like now fucking, you know, people wearing skirts, fucking people challenging certain shit, fucking, oh my God, their music is so great. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know. That shit is just, that shit is wild. Happiness is an emotion, not something you can have or feel forever. We say like be happy or become happier as if it just lasts or something. Or you're happy already and want to be happier because and want to be happier. People are confused. There's no such thing as I'm happy. You know, people ask that dumbass question, are you happy? No. You know what I'm saying? There's no such thing. You know what I'm saying? What 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 is happy? You know what I'm saying? They're asking, are you happy as if you know it's a long lasting thing? You know what I'm saying? And it's it, it'll be a different question. Do you feel happy right now? You know what I'm saying? And it can be a no, and it, it doesn't have to go into this, oh my god, why? You know what I'm saying? Why don't you feel happy right now? Do you you know what I'm saying? Because they think, oh, if you're not feeling happy, then you must be down here feeling this, this, and that. And you know, I could not be feeling happy. I could just, I, I, I feel at peace right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel calm to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel very, you know, relaxed right now. I feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, there's, there's just this odd thing of, you know, people say be happy. But what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? It means nothing. And people are trying to get there. They're trying to get to something that doesn't exist. There's no such thing as a be happy. There's no such thing as a, you know, oh, if I'll do this, I'll be happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, even in my earlier, earlier videos, you know, I used to, you know, it was really just a reiteration of, you know what I'm saying? Because I was trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really, I guess I was thinking about shit, you know what I'm saying? But it was only to a certain extent of obviously everything is to a certain extent but you know i was watching gary v and it was like i was basically reiterating what he was saying you know what i'm saying i was just you know accepting that and um you know making that a part of you know what i thought and this this and that and it was like i said you know I said, um, I'm not rich, but I'm successful or something like that. And I said, you know what I'm saying? You know, successful is being happy, you know? And obviously what I think right now, you know, I think that wasn't true. And I think, you know what I'm saying? I was just reiterating what he was saying and I was believing what he was saying when, you know what I'm saying? Without really maybe thinking, you know, differently about it or without maybe, you know what I'm saying? having a certain experience you know what i'm saying to now think this you know what i'm saying and now to understand that it's a feeling and there's no such thing as being happy you know what i'm saying i'm not you know i think i was like i'm 18 and i'm happy or some shit like that and it's like you know what i'm saying and it's like i don't like uh like and i don't go delete the video or some shit like that you know what i'm saying and as far as you know who that person was and what i was thinking during those times you know i took certain shit from that and you know grew on it you know or i took certain shit and you know changed it as far as the happy shit and it's like you know now i'm obviously in a place where you know i'm just i'm solely just thinking you know what i'm thinking and evaluating it how i evaluate it and this, this and that and it's, and it's it's not just you know coming from oh what what gary is saying or some shit like that you know what i'm saying like I don't know. It was just very like, like I really took it as what he was saying was it to a certain extent on some shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't agree with with everything he was saying, but some of the shit that I did agree on, like I really took that shit and was like, oh damn, yeah, my nigga, 
talking about some shit and some shit that he said, you know what I'm saying, I still used to this day or, you know, I used and, you know, it worked out to a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but, you know, it goes to show, you know what I'm saying, you can change your mind on shit and you can own up to that shit and, you know what I'm saying, now feel differently about it or this, this and that. Antidepressants make you feel numb. You know, it's, it's, it's these, you say you don't want to feel anymore, here you go. You know what I'm saying? And then to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? You don't like that feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is a feeling. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you don't like that feeling of not feeling nothing to a certain extent. And it's like, but that's where it show like, fuck the medication you got to do for you. I check on myself. You know, and that's huge. You know what I'm saying? Especially with me, I mean, and being, you know, I, I took the opportunity, you know, opportunity presenting itself and I took it and I decided I was going to be the one to check on myself because I don't, I, I don't have nobody in my life. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that I got in my life, you see right here in this car, it's me. You know what I'm saying? I have, I have no, you know, the, the family I got is right here. You know what I'm saying? The Karen, the only person that Karen support is right here. You know what I'm saying? The only person that check up is right here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, and I didn't got, you know, I didn't remove, you know what I'm saying, people. You know what I'm saying? Or they didn't just dip on their own. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I didn't have to remove because, you know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't no checkup. It wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this, this and that. It wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a healthy relationship. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm trying to give, I'm trying to do stuff and, and they not on that. So, you know what I'm saying? I got to dip. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it became, it was just me. And then I was like, I, I saw that opportunity. I decided to take the opportunity. And I said, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to check up on me. I'm going to fucking look out for me. I'm going to fucking, you know what I'm saying? Do what I got to do for me. Because ain't nobody else there for me. Ain't nobody else doing that shit for me. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like that's, that's fucked. You know what I'm saying? For people who was supposed to be your friend. For people who was supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Be this, you know parent be this sibling be this cousin be this aunt you know what i'm saying regardless of who you know they said they was their action wasn't match matching up you know what i'm saying and it's like you know what i'm saying i took it as disrespect to a certain extent that they thought that you know what i'm saying they could treat me that way that they can talk to me that way that they can you know act the way they did you know within certain situations and think i'll still be there you know what I'm saying? And it's like, for me, you know, for those times that I was still there, because, you know, I wasn't on that mental shit, you know what I'm saying? As far as obviously where I'm at now, and it's like, I, I was still there, you know what I'm saying? When they were doing this, this, and that. And it's like, so I guess, you know, they got comfortable within that. But obviously, you know, I, you know, started communicating with myself and started, you know, realizing what I was feeling, acknowledging what I was feeling and you know, tried to communicate that shit, and it was like, there wasn't no communication back, you know what I'm saying, and it was like, well, damn, you know what I'm saying, I didn't did everything I could, but it's like, it's not gonna work out type shit, you know what I'm saying, but you gotta check up on yourself, you know what I'm saying, you gotta make those decisions for yourself to see where you at, you know what I'm saying, and make sure you doing what you gotta do to make sure you feeling in a pace of peace, you know what I'm saying, You got to be tough to like who you want. You got to be strong to do what you want, regardless of what others say. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers will throw that, you know, oh, that's not tough doing this, this, and, or, or that's not tough um, doing that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's not. But, you know, I just walked down the street with me and my partner and just got 50 stares, just got 30 ugly remarks, got shit thrown at, you know what I'm saying? And it's tough to fucking like that person 
regardless of what others are saying, regardless of what others are doing in you, regardless of what's the standard in society. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's you got to be strong to do what you want. You know what I'm saying? You got to be strong to fucking while everybody else is over there doing that. You went to go do this because that's what you wanted to do. And even though you by yourself, even though others are like, oh, look at them, they over there doing this and that, ha ha. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do. And you know that's what you want to do. And you doing that, and that's giving you peace. Not pleasing them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. Like, people try to throw those words at you. You know, you weak for over there doing that. Why aren't you over here with us? Because I don't want to be, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, they throw the weak out there and call themselves strong. So that's why I sometimes like the strong, the weak, fuck it. Do what you want, you know what I'm saying? But within a sense of the word, you know what I'm saying? It, you got to be strong to do what you want, you know what I'm saying? When others are still, you got to be tough to fucking like who you want when it's fucking illegal in places. Like, illegal. That shit is like, imagine that shit. Just on some mental shit, bro. Like, just who you are. Just you doing what you want. Just you acknowledging what you feeling and expressing that. And expressing that. And now, it's illegal? Just imagine that shit. Shit. It was illegal for a certain shade to be in a restaurant. Just imagine that shit. You know what I'm saying? Illegal. That's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's what I'm saying about the certain shit that we take it. And it's like the same thing. It's the fucking same thing as you liking a person who you like. And then it's like, oh, you liking a person who you like. And it's the same shit as that fucking shade. It's the same shit as that shade um, fucking of that shade being illegal in that restaurant. You know what I'm saying? It's the same foundational shit. You know what I'm saying? So we like, oh, we went away from, you know, uh, a all certain shade restaurant, a all certain shade bathroom, a all certain shade water fountain, water fountain. And, but then it's like, okay, but now it's like, if you like this certain person, you're not able to act on that. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, like this certain thing, you're not able to like it. If you, you know what I'm saying? And we, we have it within our community and within different communities. You know what I'm saying? And it's toxic. You know, oh, if you dress this way, if you're this way, you know what I'm saying? And they, you get bad. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, we got to realize that shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to see that shit that is within us and we're creating it ourselves. Because those same people who go and say, oh, damn, that was fucked up back in the day that certain shade of colors couldn't be in a restaurant, but they'll go and fucking discriminate against a person who um who likes a certain person. You know what I'm saying? Who likes a certain team, who likes a certain sport, who likes a certain game, who likes a certain color, who is a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, well, how can you... Do you really feel that way? Or maybe you really do feel that way, but you're not able to translate it and see maybe the foundational is the same as this foundational. You know what I'm saying? And to that certain extent comes where I say, just be kind. Just be positive. Because then there's... Even if there is confusion with a foundation... Regardless of that game or whatever that they liked, you were kind. Whether you were kind in a way of you saw that they liked that game and you just didn't interact at all, or you said that was a cool game, or you wanted to play with them, or this, this, and that, it doesn't matter. But there wasn't no bashing involved. There wasn't no hating involved. There wasn't nothing that they needed to heal from. They aren't confused. They know exactly who they are 
and what they want. They aren't confused. They know exactly who they are and what they want. That's it. At that point in time, they know exactly who they are and what they want. You know what I'm saying? Whether that changes, it doesn't fucking matter. Right now, they're telling you they want to dress this way. They're telling you they like these type of people. They're telling you they want to play this sport. They're telling you they want to learn this instrument. I don't give a fuck if you think this, 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 and this are things they shouldn't be doing, things that you don't like, things that you don't think are right. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Because those things I just listed, I don't see a problem. You know what I'm saying? And it's different for you to feel that way and communicate. And let's talk about it. And being able to understand that them wanting to learn that instrument instead of going to play a sport is okay. You know what I'm saying? That's where I come in and say I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a it's a I don't give a fuck when it comes to you holding on to them to the sport. You know what I'm saying? To what you want. They're not who you want. You know what I'm saying? They're not a robot that you created. They're, that's not why you had that kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I go into, I don't give a fuck if you say that they need to play football instead of violin. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if Jerry and fucking Tom, your boys, are saying, your boy's a bitch because he's playing a fucking violin and not going to play football with fucking Jerry Jr. and Tom Jr. I don't give a fuck. You can tell Jerry and Tom to kiss your ass. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Jerry and Tom. If that's how they think about my fucking son. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up. We supposed to be cool and you gonna say that about my kid. By my, that's fucked up. That's disrespectful. I didn't appreciate that shit. I can't fuck with y'all. I wish Tom Jr. and Jerry Jr. the best. And I hope they make it far in what they do. But I hope that they're being able to do what they want. I hope that playing football is what they want. And they're not being abused and manipulated into doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is just... Just be, they're more experienced within themselves than you will ever be. So with all honesty in certain situations, you can't say you know more because you do not know more. They know more about themselves than you will ever know. You know what I'm saying? Like you cannot say you know more. You just can't say that. And you can't say they're confused or this, this, and that. That's just what they're feeling. That's just what they're expressing. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, when it comes to a certain extent on shit and they saying they want to go fucking harm some people, you know, it's the same sit down, let's talk about it. And it's like you saying they should be kind and they're harm, them saying they want to go harm people, then it's like fuck what they saying you know and you have expressed and explained to the extent that they now know that not harming people is better you know what i'm saying is 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 what we should strive for and this is that you know like bro it's just it's so situational and it's it's shit that needs to be talked about and it's like our body works better with plants all that other stuff just causes problems it does and not saying you know plants may not or not saying that yeah plants may not cause problems or not saying that our body will have problems when we're you know just eating you know plant-based stuff or just plants you know but it's like you know we don't some don't we don't know you know as far as you know how our body is from the jump 
of just eating plant-based shit, of just, you know, eating plants. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, we don't know if our skin, you know, gets, you know, a certain way if we're just, you know, eating plants. We don't know if our, you know, body goes through the same, you know, things just eating plant. Like, we don't know. And I, you know, but I feel, you know, since it's such a natural thing that our bodies would work better with it. You know, that is, you know, it's so natural and it's so from the, you know, the earth and it's not just manipulated shit that, you know, that they do with meat and all this shit. And, you know, it's, it's, it's purely natural, you know, it's, and we're growing it and we're, you know, within growing this shit, it, you know, we have different lifestyles and different habits with it. And, you know, that in itself is, you know, us working out and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I think it's big, you know, and I think, you know, I think that lifestyle, you know, is, is better to, to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't think it has to be like this mass, you know, planning thing as far as the individual, you know, cause obviously we had the agriculture shit or whatever it's called, you know, and you know, the, the man or whatever, you know, farmed and it was like, you know, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like, you know, as a community, you know, we'll, you know, have our community thing or whatever, or, you know, there'll be, you know, now, you know, a big company or whatever, or just, I don't know, a big group of people, I don't know, but we all grow and we all take turns or whatever. And, you know, we're able to put it in stores or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or it's just, or we have our markets, you know, that would be better, you know, a market, you know, we're outside, we're walking to it, you know, it's more like a journey type thing. And it's like, we're trying new things. And it's like, I don't know, it's just, you know, we need to get back and into the interaction we need to get back into the growing into the doing shit ourselves you know i think we moved away from that you know i wanted to move away from it because you know we no longer wanted to to work at that you know we wanted to just like now like we're just finding more and more ways to make shit easier you know, and it's like, you know, I feel everything shouldn't be at your house. You know, I, I feel everything you sh you can do shouldn't you shouldn't be able to do at your house. You know, I feel like, you know, you should be able to you need to be able to go get certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit shouldn't be delivered. You know what I'm saying? Like all this certain online shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's this fucking the new Google shit. You know what I'm saying? That's they program to sound like a human and react like a fucking human. And it's like, you can have conversations with them and interact and shit. And it's like, they can do everything for you now. And it's like, we're getting more and more out of touch, you know, with shit we need to be in touch with, with, you know, making those decisions and being in control and this, this and that and practicing that shit. We're, we're slowly giving it, giving that power away. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, we're not going down a good path. You know what I'm saying? It's not. That shit is not good. I feel. If we all traveled, went on journeys, we would all be in a pretty good shape eating plants, etc. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's just basically what I was just saying. I mean, because I, I feel like that traveling shit is, is basically, you know, what we just what we just um, missing on and just shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We missing that traveling shit. You know, we missing that. You know what I'm saying? Those journeys and what could go, what could happen during those journeys and those moments. You know what I'm saying? Of just now the quick transportation and this, this and that. And it's like, you know, with as much time as we seem to have, we should want to travel. You know what I'm saying? We should want to go certain places and you know look at almost everything and you know not being so caught up in oh i gotta get there i gotta get there you know what i'm saying i don't know bro it's just like we should want to walk places we should you know want to you know ride horses or whatever they did back in the day we should want to grow shit we should want to 
you know, have different markets where, you know, whatever people created, you know what I'm saying, that they now have and, you know, they fucking give away and it's like limited edition shit and it's like, you know, and it's like, or it's a trade or something, you know, just back in that shit, but like new mentality type shit, you know, new type of foundation type shit and it's like, I don't know, bro. It's like they try to make it seem like it was so bad you know, in a way of the agriculture shit or some shit like that and that we need this new way and I don't know. Get your own bank account. Don't let nobody have access can't get bank account get it in cash you know and i guess that's just going off of you know as far as who you living with you know if they you know sadly taking your money that you didn't earn you know what i'm saying you know maybe you got you know shit that come in the mail or something and it's like they looking at it and know now you got that money and they asking you for certain shit and you know guilt tripping you about certain shit or you know, get learn how to get get um your bank account. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to get, you know, a debit card that you know what I'm saying that you don't have to pay monthly for all this. You don't have to worry about all this interest shit or race or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Get a check in savings account, whatever. Just get a savings account and get direct deposit and certain shit like that. And make sure that job, the money you making or whatever, going straight to that direct deposit. Or you know what I'm saying? that you're getting a check, you know what I'm saying? And you can deposit into it or something like that. Or like I say, if you know, you getting that check and depositing it into cash or, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure you got it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you got it and you're able to spend it how you want to spend it. And you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody have access to that shit. And if, and if it's like, you got to get a bank account, but only, you know, Yo, whoever you live with can open it because you got to be a certain age or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Put little money in it. And then when you get to that certain age, remove them off of it. And now you have, you know, that solid account or whatever. It's like, but you got to, you got to think about that shit. You got to start putting certain shit in play. You know what I'm saying? To get out, to fucking have this, you know, foundation that you've been building. You know what I'm saying? Now you can just take it and grow on top of it and this, this and that. Like you got to... You gotta be on your toes, bro. You gotta be ready. You gotta. It's sad, but it's like, I mean, it 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 it's it it would seem sad, you know what I'm saying? Cause you would think you in a place where you know you care for it and support it for it, and, but you not. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta find your way out. Our taste changes. We eat more things that taste better. So when we try to go back to things from before, some would taste bad because we have a better taste for good food. Yeah, and I think that shit applies to a lot of shit. But it's true, like, nigga, I think I tried to go back to them cosmic brownies or some shit. That shit was awful. That shit was horrible. But I used to eat them motherfuckers up. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's, it's, it's shit like that. Like, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we were just eating what we was given. You know what I'm saying? The shit was good. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have all this other shit because that's just what we was eating. You know what I'm saying? But once we start exploring different shit, once we actually start tasting it and we like, oh, you know what I'm saying? We're not just adapting to it and like, oh, well, fuck it. That's all we got. This is what we eating. You know what I'm saying? We're able to taste certain shit and like, this is good. This isn't good. I don't like this. You know, what is that? You know, and then our palate gets better you know what i'm saying when i go back to a cosmic brownie i'm gonna be like that shit you know what i'm saying we're able to you know and that's like you know like like i was saying like that goes on that goes to other shit you know what i'm saying whether it's you you know trying to go back to some you used to do and you know on the flip side you used to be bad in something now you know you're better in it or something like that i don't know Odd how y'all really have no control over yourselves. See somebody or see somebody body or body part, just lose all control. 
go back into that horny state shit I was talking about like even if you see something you attract to that make you horny this and that you gotta have control you know what I'm saying no you can't go touch them no you can't no you shouldn't want to say you know certain shit online in a comment section or even out in public no you shouldn't fucking record them no you shouldn't fucking touch yourself you know no you know what i'm saying it's it's okay to be attracted and feel horny and you know go about your day you know what i'm saying it's you know i don't know bro it's just like you should have control and you should want to have control and you should want to not do those things you know that i just listed or some of these other things you know what i'm saying because obviously i'm saying within control but some people want to do those things you know what i'm saying so it's like you got to have a certain gauge and see the responses you getting and evaluate that shit. Like, they're not, they not appreciating that shit. They feel uncomfortable with you, you know, looking at them that way with trying to touch them and say certain shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to take that and you can't just, oh, that's just them. Oh, you're no fun or, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, my nigga. You're multiple things, and they're all you. You're not acting like someone else when you're a certain way towards certain people or are just a certain way in certain situations. You're still you. Yeah, and I feel that's, you know what I'm saying? Because some people be like, oh, you're acting different when you're around so-and-so. But it's like, I'm acting different. I'm, what you're seeing is different from what you've seen before because you maybe haven't seen me with them before now am i acting different towards you that's a different thing you're acting different towards me when you're with so-and-so then it's like okay let's evaluate and see what's different in this this and that but it's like just because what you're seeing is different now that i'm with them and you know what I'm saying they bring out a different side of me or i choose to be this way that doesn't mean, oh, like now I'm a different person or this, this, and that. Now, whether you like that person for the most part or not, you know, that's some situational shit. But it's like, they're all you. You know what I'm saying? That isn't you trying to act like someone you're not. You know what I'm saying? And I say that acting thing, you know what I'm saying? I feel we're all always acting in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Because within of what acting is is your you know in a sense getting creating a character and getting into a character and doing certain things you know and saying certain i don't know but it's like i feel we're all acting in a certain way to a certain extent you know what i'm saying and it's and it's, i don't think it should be like a bad thing to say I don't know this shit is so situational and this shit is so like but I just feel like you know we see acting in films and series and plays or whatever and that's like to such a certain extent we think oh that's acting and that's all that acting is but you know us you know being a certain way or you know trying to say a certain joke or it makes you know certain people laugh or something like that's like you're acting in a certain way or you know you want to do that so you did it and you know what i'm saying it's like i don't know yeah i mean it's i don't know i don't you know the words for it i mean i feel like i'm kind of saying it within saying it but it's like yeah i mean you know, that acting shit as far as, you know, plays, series, films. It's just like... I don't know, just to lock in to another... To a character that's been created. You know what I'm saying? And, and make it seem so natural. Just goes and shows how... That's kind of, of what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because... If, you know, we were to lock into that character that's created or whatever and practice it for as long as we have, you know what I'm saying, then we would be that character in a sense. 
you know, and it's like, I don't know. New location, coach. Coach. Yeah, I mean, we chilling. You know what I'm saying? You know, we didn't have some uh, cars hit the loop, but, you know, it was nothing but a, and, um, you know what I'm saying? It was nothing but a, you know, chilling. You know, they about their day, and I'm about my day, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no, um, wasn't no too crazy shit, wasn't no, You know what I'm saying? That's that embarrassment I'm talking about. Like, you know, because some people who who would have created a certain embarrassment and like, oh my gosh, you know, somebody's coming, you know, let me stop talking, you know, and then kind of get awkward in a sense. And it's like, you know, you create that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they hit the loop, you know what I'm saying? I'm still talking, I'm still in it, you know what I'm saying? Still acknowledging, you know what I'm saying? Like, depending what they own, this is that, you know, give them a little friendly, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, we, you know what I'm saying? We still pushing. That shit crazy. Yeah, it's like, I fucking know some days worse than others, shit. Got some fucking tire marks on this whole niggas be hitting the donuts. They trying to go crazy. Ooh, fuck. <laughs> I feel like me, me me being out here, I feel like should I get used to it, you know what I'm saying? They'll get used to me. And it's just that noise. That one was making noise. I don't know I, I don't know which which insect that was. And I don't even know if that other one was, but it's like when it comes in then it's like fuck. It's more of a what the fuck is that type shit, you know. <laughs> this one was good. <laughs> this shit just so chillax. You know, like. This shit just so chillax and it's like, I don't know, bro. Well, <sighs> finna get back into slavery. <laughs> yeah, that shit is so fucked up. It's like, oh, they let you refresh for two days and then get right back into it. You know what I'm saying? Like they choosing how we living. They determine when we get to rest, when we get to go on vacations, when we get off days, when we, you know what I'm saying? 
how, how do y'all want that? How do y'all want to live like that? You know. We gotta we gotta get locked in. Shit, I ain't, you know. I'd be all right. Evaluate, work, grow. Oh, shit. Evaluate, work, change, grow. E W C G. Evaluate, work, change, grow. Evaluate, work, change, grow. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> I thought I pressed that up. <laughs> My ass said, <laughs> That would have been fucked though if I'd be like, you know, the niggas who be. And then it's like, you know what I'm saying? That would have been down. I mean, not saying that that's always like a... I mean, maybe they were just in the moment of ending it and then it was just a... Came into a relaxed state. Yeah, yeah, okay. I care. E-W-C-G. E-W-C-G.